In this video we'll cover how to power on your Razorbook 400 for the first time and how to connect to the internet. Uh, first off, uh, before you power on your Razorbook 400, you want to plug in the power cord to the back of the unit and charge the battery for about four hours so it can get a full charge and um, that way your battery has a, a very long life. If you don't fully charge it for, uh, upon the first use, it will shorten the battery life. So, after it's plugged in and charged for four hours, you can go ahead and unplug it and uh, <clears throat> plug in an Ethernet cable if you want to connect to a landline. Now, things to note, if um, i go ahead and just power it on. And typically it takes about 15 to 20 seconds for the unit to power on. You'll see the little <clears throat> penguin while it's booting and uh, let you know that this is a Linux operating system. Typically it takes about another 15 to 20 seconds <clears throat> after it starts up to uh, connect to the internet to automatically recognize um, that it has an internet connection. If you have a cable modem without a router you will have to reset the cable modem meaning you'll have to power it down unplug it from the wall and then plug it back in after you've connected uh, your Razorbook 400 to it. That way it can uh, generate an IP address so you can surf the internet. Now, uh, when your unit's powered on, you go over to the web browser, double click on it, and it typically takes about 10 to 15 seconds to launch the web browser. This web browser is Firefox. It's a scaled down version of Firefox made for Linux. And it's, um, it's a very useful web browser. You can launch tabs within a single window and the first thing you'll probably want to do after it launches is uh, you will want to go to the um, preferences and edit your home page and set it to launch your home page automatically in this case our home page is Google so you can click on edit go down to preferences and it'll launch the preferences and it, where it says on startup the startup section you make the selection uh, show my home page and type in the home page in this case it's Google for us here in this in this video now the other thing we're going to cover in this video is how to connect to a wireless internet connection now in order for you to connect to a wireless internet connection you must have a wireless router within your vicinity uh, either a secure or unsecure network it doesn't matter if it is a secure, just make sure you have the network key to type in when it requests it. So we're going to unplug this <clears throat> from the landline. And we're going to open it back up. And we're going to go to the Wi-Fi button, which is in the main menu under the Internet tab. Bottom left-hand corner. And it will tell you that there's no wireless devices, so you have to activate the wireless connection. Click on the Active Wi-Fi button and it will check for a wireless device and what it's going to do is it's going to search for wireless networks in the area whether they be unsecure or secure or if they're a printing network or various other things now if you, as you can see we have under key under the selection key it says off or on if it says on that means it's a secure network and in this case we have a Linksys network that's nearby that's unsecure so we're going to go ahead and connect to that. You highlight it in blue and then scroll down to connect. And it's going to attempt to connect to that network. Sometimes it can take upwards of a minute depending on the strength of the signal, um, the amount of crosstalk or um, electric interference in the area. So it really all depends. Uh, high traffic areas such as uh, airports and or internet cafes might take a little bit longer to con uh, connect to, but just be patient, it will connect. Sometimes you have to refresh the network listing, especially after being connected to a wired network. It still thinks it's on the network.
Okay, it says connected and acquiring an IP address. <clears throat> and as soon as it's acquired an IP address, it'll display it. That means you're connected to the internet. You minimize this, and then you can go back to your web browser. You launch the web browser, and it should show up on your home page. And there we go.